Hi everybody, I'm Philip Duncan. Thank you for joining us. We've got a lot of low pressure on the way over the next week or so for the rest of November basically and a lot of people are trying to work out what is happening this weekend and also perhaps if you're trying to get rain you're trying to work out how much. So we're hopefully going to help you cover some of that but I have to admit this is quite a tricky forecast to be precise about. Generally speaking, no worries there, but being very specific about particular regions, that does get a little harder. So let's see what's going on. First of all, let's start with our low pressure system. You can see it here in the blue coloring or purple coloring, depending on what monitor you're watching this on. Uh, and you can see this low pressure. This is the one that's been dominating all week around New Zealand. It is now starting to move eastwards, but it's merging with a much larger one that's moving in from Australia. So we've got a bit of a change coming with our weather and it starts with the temperatures. No doubt many of you woke up this morning feeling like winter was still in the air. The good news is by this afternoon, big chunk of the South Island's warmer than average and the only part of the North Island that's cooler than average is a little part around Napier and Hastings. Most other places will warm up this afternoon to normal conditions and over the next day or two above normal in a number of places as well. So we're going back to that warmer weather. So this is how Friday shapes up. It is a pretty calm day across New Zealand. Light winds for most of you, dry for most places, maybe a couple of afternoon showers uh, popping up in the hills there, but there's no mistaking or no missing this giant low that's out on the Tasman Sea and is moving towards us. So let's start with Saturday because that's the day that everyone is asking us about what is going on. So we're going to try and break it down for you. They've got this big low out at sea. It is moving in already by Saturday. This is an area of morning rain, we think. Now there's two different setups you can get from a big low like this when they've got these big dry spaces and the rain clouds are all fractured and broken up. It's not one of those normal lows we get where it's all windy and wet right around the middle of the low. In this case, it's all broken up. So there are two different forms of weather you can get. You can get big downpours that move in or you can get patchy rain that kind of lingers around for a bit. So as far as Saturday is concerned, our feeling is that it could be a bit of both. There could be some morning rain easing and then later into the day or evening, it might flare back up again as downpours. But I will be honest with you, we will not be locking this one in until probably Friday. It's just one of those setups. So we need another day or so to really confirm that. But heavy downpours are possible, Waikato northwards on Saturday, dry spells also in the mix. Further south, drier and warmer than average. You've got those northerlies kicking in so it won't be feeling like winter anymore. And down in the South Island, a little bit of patchy rain coming through. Don't worry, nothing like the levels we've been seeing. To Sunday now, and it gets a little more complicated. We've got thunderstorms in the mix now because we've got that warmer airflow from the uh, northern Tasman Sea feeding down. We've got downpours, we've got lower air pressure moving in. It's messy, but generally speaking, the eastern side of the South Island and North Island will get some rain, as will northern and western parts of the North Island. So that's pretty much the whole North Island. Uh, but eastern areas, perhaps Hawke's Bay and Wired Up are missing out on the most. And then we have a look at the thunderstorm risk, and you can see there is a moderate to high risk of some thunderstorms popping up on Sunday. This is a bigger general risk than what we saw earlier this week. So things are definitely getting a little more spicy as we head in towards Sunday, and then the start of next week. And this is Monday, and again, that low is nearby. Subtropical air now coming down, so thunderstorms are likely into the afternoon. And then a little bit, a little bit like this week, you've got this subtropical airflow that comes down way out past the Chatham Islands, curves back in, and comes into the eastern side of the South Island. So we're likely to be getting some rain coming back there again next week. Starts on Monday, continues on Tuesday. The low itself now starting to move in. Still big areas of dry. In fact, the driest areas are likely to be Southland, Central Otago, and the West Coast, which doesn't really happen a lot in November, but that's the setup. Well, everybody else has got downpours, and they'll be hit and miss. Some days you get them, some days they're kind of missing you. That's the nature of these big lows. And by the time we get to Wednesday, this system is finally crossing into the North Island and finally going to clear away from New Zealand, but look what's behind it, yet another one. So it's pretty safe to say November is going to end on low pressure. And if you're trying to make sense of all that rain and where it's going, maybe this will make sense of it for you. This is the accumulation rain map, all the rain that's likely to fall between right now and next Wednesday. And the important, you might not be able to really notice all the numbers and things, but really the blues and the greens down here, that's only about a couple of millimeters or maybe 10 to 15 millimeters. So Southlands and Otago, you don't have a lot of rain coming. 
the areas that need it the most, places like Hawke's Bay, you're getting maybe 30, 40 millimeters, but if you get a thunderstorm, you could double that. So that's why we're seeing some areas with purple, that's getting up to around 100 millimeters. We might be seeing that in the ranges and the foothills of Canterbury as well, but this is not 100% locked in, as you've just seen, hit and miss nature of this setup means it's one to watch. But the general feeling is the North Island's got the bulk of the rain, and the southern part of New Zealand looks like you miss out on the most part. On the, for the most part. There we go. Nice way to stuff up at the end. Anyway, that is all from me. Nothing more to share with you, but we will update you again tomorrow with the latest on what is coming this weekend. I know it's a little bit, you know, uh, not so black and white as you might like trying to lock this stuff in but we're doing our best and we'd rather be honest about how tricky it is than saying it will definitely be this and then you get to the day and you find it's completely the opposite so we'll update you again on friday with a lot more detail about how this weekend is shaping up